Hey, my name is Dan Gage, and this is, we're well along in our lesson series talking to you guys and girls who are, are later in life beginners. Um, talking about some of the challenges that we face. Actually, a lot of these apply to anybody. The subject of this lesson is really about control, but I'm framing the discussion in, in terms of what I like to call crutch licks. Things that I've seen players, beginning, intermediate players do, even pros do, we all do it, but it's like how, it's how it comes across. It's these licks or these techniques that we, we actually do rely on too heavily or we overuse. I think they're inevitable. I think as you develop, if you listen to any harmonica player, there are certain things that they fall back on, there's certain patterns. But the better harmonica players, we seem to notice it less. So it's something that, that you're going to do, you're going to have crush licks, but I think it's important that you're aware of them so that you can constantly be progressing away from them. Or, or, or you know, we talked about ruts. One of those things with ruts is you play the same thing all the time. If you're aware that it's part of a rut, and it's aware, you're aware that it's this crutch or this thing that you always fall, I'm, I'm, I'm pantomiming, you know, walking with a crutch that you always fall back on, then it, and if it's, it's in the back of your head, then it'll give you that little impetus to hopefully try something different. One of the biggest things, sometimes I do it, that I see as a crutch lick with, with intermediate, you know, mid-level, whatever you want to call it, you know, not, not Jason Ritchie harmonica players, is the overuse of vibrato. And, and vibrato is something that whether you do, you know, with your hand or You know that 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 wavering sort of the airflow is 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 rhythmically chopped up, and it's it sounds great, but it sounds great if it's a technique that you can control. It's not necessarily necessary. Not necessarily necessary. Yeah, that sounds right. You don't need to do it with every single lick that you play. So you know with the vibrato thing, what you can do is you can practice and remind yourself to turn it on, turn it off. You know, it's something you practice. It's, it's like a switch. You turn the technique on, you turn the technique off. Um, it can get annoying if every note has vibrato. You, it loses some of the impact of the technique if you overdo it. Um, okay, to vibrato. The, the up-down lick or, or, or that. Or. Okay, we learn these basic licks. The up-down lick. Uh, the good morning lick, we learn these basic licks and they, so they become somewhat of a foundation of what we play. We have to be careful that we're not always starting every riff the same exact way with, say, that lick. And so listen to yourself critically. It helps to record yourself. And listen for the beginnings of your licks and see if it always starts, or more often than not starts, and then think about ways that you can start. You know, so I added a little something to it. Or, you know, move around the harmonica, work within your scales, but, you know, really, I don't want to get too much into it because I'm keeping these short, but think about when you start everything or you keep going to the same same little pattern of lick. That's one that happens. Um, so it's, it's, it's in line with my, I've got an outline here, <laughs> really planned ahead, I really did. Starting somewhere else. And one of the, one of the things that, that I think a lot of people do, and I like to, sh I want to shout it at a lot of people in their soloing, is they're afraid to go above whole five. And the whole six blow is the same note, it's the tonic. And so the two draw, three blow, and six blow is the same note. So that's a, it can really unlock. And one of these days I was going to make a video on just six blow. But think about where you start and where you finish. If you, you know, you can, for example, use six blow sometimes instead of two draw. So I'm going to start on two draw. Right? But I can go...
Six below is really powerful. And, and knowing things like that, knowing that it's that same note, you can experiment with starting at six below, you can resolve at six below. It's just one little example, but um, another thing you guys do is they bend in to the licks instead of, I mean, there's a million things, but think about where you start your licks. Think about how you do it all at the same time and figure out, I mean, there's a million lessons, but think about ways that you can change it. And then, and then back to that idea of relax. Relax because if, if you're in a rut, you know you're in a rut. We've talked about this before. If you think too hard about the rut, you're going to stay there. So part of it is sort of don't worry. Worry a little bit, especially when you practice. But when you get on stage, you know, hopefully some of that practice will, will, will apply. And then one thing you can do to help you get out of these patterns, especially when you practice, is try to play slow. Okay, we all sort of start to, you know, get a play along with with a record or a CD, and it's going at a pace. But like, sit down by yourself and say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a slow blues. <laughs> Playing with vibrato. Playing with two draw, six blow. Play really sparse, and even if you, you know, pick some slow blues and play it, but it, it lets you make your conscious effort less, or you know, lets the playing be a little more subconscious, and you can consciously focus on varying up those techniques or adding some technique, and that's what really builds you into a better harmonica player getting you off of these crutch licks. So the lick, speaking of licks, right, let's get to it. I wanna talk about what I call the William Clark lick, and I do this all the time, so I thought it was particularly appropriate. It sounds like. Sixth low, basically it's the blues scale down, or it's the pentatonic scale down. So six blow, five draw, four draw. I'm on a C harmonica. And it's a lot like that lick we learned a little while ago, talking about that the two whole shape, the four, five, back and forth, right? So six blow, five draw, four draw. Up to five draw again. to four draw again, so you're going back and forth between four and five. Four draw. Three draw, half step. Two draw. Up. Let's do it on an A heart. Six blow. Five draw, four draw. Up to five draw again, back to four draw. So it goes. Four blow. Three draw. Two draw. Okay, we'll do it on a G harp. I'm Dan Gage, that's 10 minutes, and uh, I think there's one more. I know it's a long series, but hey, after a year and a half, what do you want? <laughs>